is the big deal about boys? <laughs> I really don't get it. Just look at them. <laughs> All that giggling and staring. It's pathetic! <laughs> it is. This is different. What's you doing, Doc? I have no idea, love. Sounds like a furball. Some throat? No, Mum. It's martial arts. They're doing classes down the beach. Want to see more? Yeah! And when they finish, they all drink tea. Ooh. What sort of tea, darling? Tea tea. Like old people drink. Oh. So can I join? You're always telling me I need more discipline. Uh, I think you're getting your wires crossed, Squirt. That's your sister. <laughs> we always thought you were quite disciplined. Sometimes too disciplined. Whereas your sister... No, no, no. Focus, focus. What does this mob call themselves? Ah, uh, Blue Lotus Self-Defense Academy. I claim this could be exactly what Layla needs. No, Dad. This is exactly what I need. So can I join? Dive, why did I have to come here? Because your father thinks it's a good idea for you to be around some disciplined young people. More like demented young people. Look at them. It's so sad. I think they look smart. I think they look stupid. They're wearing pajamas. Hey, I'm Joel. Hey. This is Taylor. Normally, she's very talkative. She'd like to do an introductory class. Cool. What about you? What about me? Well, would you like to take a class? <laughs> Are you serious? There's no way you're getting me in one of those outfits. No way. Well, then, I'll just get you to fill out one of these. Make yourself useful, Layla. We need to get you a uniform. Just put it over what you're wearing. Uh -huh. You need a sash. Blue. Green. Our uh, beginners actually wear white. Oh, that was going to be my next choice. <laughs> Do we tie for you? Here, why don't I help you? We don't want to keep Joel from his class, do we, Taylor? Mm -hmm. So Layla didn't even do the class. She's just not interested no, enough. Let me go. Oh, I have to mean to ask you though, do you think that Taylor's old enough now for the talk? Yeah, she's old enough. We need to be sure she knows how things work. Oh, well then grow up before your eyes. I can't believe our little girl's almost a teenager. You know, maybe you should do the talk. Thank you. Well, woman to woman, you oh, know. Oh, no, you don't. I want you to be there too. I'll be there, but I'll, I'll be back there. me up on some facts of life. She's not going to like it. Taylor? You hang up. No, you hang up. Do you first. Hold on. Get out. You got three seconds to get out of here, Taylor. One, but Mum and Dad wanted to two, three. Mum and Dad want to give me the talk. The talk. The talk. The talk. I'm hanging up. You're in big trouble. What will I do? Run away. Is it gross? Oh yeah, much worse. I know it. It's so embarrassing, and it's so mechanical. And you know the worst part? They don't have a clue what they're talking about. How do you know? I read. There's heaps of books and stuff devoted to the subject. 
It's a wonder the two of them even managed to have us. Can I stay in here? No. Nah. Please eat more slowly, Taylor. Self-defense class is making you hungry, squirt. Taylor. Oh. You're not at the pool now. So not at the dinner table, pumpkin. Dinner's about the only chance we get to talk. 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 Taylor can't wait to talk. Can you, Taylor? So what did you think about that boy? <clears throat> what boy? What boy? What boy? Just Taylor like a boy. The handsome one at self-defense class. What was his name? I don't know. Never met him. Joel. Joel! That's it. Does Taylor have a crush on Joel? As if. Layla. Taylor's got a crush. Layla, don't torment your sister, please. But she's growing up so fast. She's already getting pimples. I am not. And hips. I am not. I'm never getting pimples or hips. Uh, do you guys want me to leave so you can talk? <laughs> Squirt, we need to talk. Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? Yeah, Taylor. Why don't you talk with Mum and Dad? Let them talk. The talk. There's no escaping. You know how it all starts. Have to talk. It starts with two people we falling in love. We need to talk. Let them talk. We have to talk. We need to talk. Taylor. Taylor. You right, Squirt? Yeah. Is there anything you want to talk about? Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, I'm really tired. Can I go lie down? Yeah, of course, sweetheart. I'll pop in in a minute. Taylor, are you all right, sweetheart? Must be the hormones. It's all part of growing up, my baby. I'm only 11! 11? 11! 11! We'll talk in the morning. 11? We gotta do it, Don. We need to have it. I agree. This is position one. <laughs> That's it. Hmm? Did you see that? He said Taylor. And that's my name. What are you looking at, Wussbag? Yeah, what are you looking at, Wussbag? Yeah, you heard him, you heard him, you heard him. Yeah, off home, pretty boy. Uh, I'm really not that pretty. Handsome, maybe. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See you later, wuss. I saw that. You deliberately destroyed Emily's castles. Sorry. S sorry. Now you can just rebuild them. Ah! Uh, what, what sort of castle was it? A sea castle. What was that? It was the roundhouse kick of the striking tiger and the spinning kick of the coil cobra. They both missed. Just, I'm only at the start of my long and mysterious journey. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Joel told me that. Who's Joel? Who's Joel? <laughs> Where do puppies come from? <gasps> what? Where did I come from? Where did baby come They're everywhere! Taylor! What's going on? My parents. They... It's too horrible. What is? Nothing. 
You're too young. I'm the same age as you. What about your parents? They... Uh, they... Yes, they? My parents think I'm old enough for the talk. Talk? Yes, Hector, the talk. You mean... Exactly. The talk. I'm really sorry. Thanks. Oh, man. I gotta go. Joel doesn't like it when people are late. Again with this Joel. Who's Joel? See you at the beach. someone. How do you tell them? I like you. No. What if you couldn't just say it? Like if it was a girl? I guess I'd hang around with her a lot. Well, what else? Be really nice to her. Maybe walk her to school every day. What if she didn't go to the same school as you? Well, then I'd see her after school and on the weekends and holidays in the park and at the mall and the beach. You'd think she'd get it by then, wouldn't you? I just hope maybe one day it would sink in. Oh, I've lost my jumper. Uh, here, have mine. Hi. Can I help you? Um, yeah. Taylor left her jumper at training today. I'm Joel. From the Blue Lotus Academy. I saw you there yesterday. Oh, sorry. I didn't recognise you without your stupid karate pyjamas. But it's quite an improvement. I'm Layla. No. How can you tell when a boy likes you? He'll ask you to marry him. I'm serious, <clears throat> Layla. How can you tell? Big please? If I remember right, at your age, they punch you in the arm. Not like this. Ow! Like this. Just a little love tap. Now get out. Wow, I didn't see you come in. I've got a headache. A bad one. Oh, how bad? Very bad. Can I get you something for it? Not that bad. I'm sleeping it off. You sure? Yes. I was hoping we could talk tonight. Mm. Tomorrow, then. Good night, Mum. Good night, Taylor. Oh, how was your self-defence class? Oh, uh, good. Got another one tomorrow. Got to keep up my strength. Good night, Mum. Good night, darling. Oh, Mum. Hmm? Did Dad ever punch you on the arm? Joel, th thanks for bringing my jumper home. No problems, champ.
finally coming out of the shell, Don. You reckon? Taylor! Have you got a spare minute? Ah, uh, sorry, got to meet Hector. Are uh, you all right? No, I just got away. From? Uh, Mum and Dad. They won't quit with the talk. Who can't? The babies, the prams, the, they'll get bogged in the sand. Right. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Yeah, but I understand. I've already had the talk. You've had the talk? I've had the talk. And? It's worse than you think. Much worse. I knew it! It's unbelievable. Some of it. They must just want to scare us. I'm scared and I haven't even heard it. You're on our beach again, nerds. Yeah, you're on a beach again, nerds. It's not your beach. This is a nerd free zone, nerd. Yeah, nerd free zone, nerd. It's a publicly owned and taxpayer funded. No! No! I could do, uh, just let me know. Thanks! Oh! Oh! Ow. Oh! Oh, I think I've hurt my ankle. Oh! Ow! 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 You know, you can lean a lot harder. I'm actually very strong. Hey! How could you just do this? Get real Taylor. You're too young for him. Too young for who? For me? She's not too young for me. Come on, Hector. What's wrong? Nothing. Doesn't look like <gasps> My ankle hurts. You go first. I can't. Oh, yes, you can. Please go first, Hector. So they see you. I have to go home. Hector! It's my great Grammy Violet's birthday. But you said you'd do anything to repay me. I meant after tonight. No, you said tonight. I said after tonight. After tonight. After tonight. After tonight. After tonight. 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 Listen. She's turning 99. We're going to the nursing home. She's getting her new teeth. I have no choice. They've got me. Good luck. Sprain, Taylor. There'll be no running around for you for a while. Or martial arts. Oh, that stuff. Oh, did something not go according to plan? No. Never mind. You're still very young. Am I? I am? I mean, I am, aren't I? I'm too young. Younger than you thought. Just sitting still will relax your mind. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Shh. Okay, now that we finally have you here, your father and I would like to talk to you. You just said I was too young, um, and then my foot hurts. It's only a mild sprain, Taylor, and most people don't talk or listen with their foot, darling. 
We think that you're old enough now to help with the household oh chores. I... Chores? Yes, darling. Starting with the washing up. We bought you rubber gloves in your favourite colour. And there's a few other little chores around the house for you. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I'll do it. It's a miracle. I'll do it. I'll do it. Never underestimate the dignity of labour, Squirt. Or the importance of earning your keep. Getting paid? I can still remember the thrill when my father offered to pay me one cent a weed to clear the backyard. How much a dish? Oh, gee, 30 cents went much further back then, huh? Oh, I can tell you. Right. Nothing. Because I'm drying. Never mind. Give us girls a chance to talk. Still go away. Have I ever told you where babies come from? <laughs> It was just like Layla said. Gross and clinical and just ugh. Someone should write some rule against parents giving the talk. We should write a letter to the United Nations on behalf of kids all over the world. Think of the agony we'd be sparing them. Talk! Talk! Me? Talk! 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 